For the downstairs, since it has a more open floor plan, we really don't end up with hot and cold spots. Then if we look over here to the upstairs common area, you can see how the temperatures come down at night and temperatures are reaching all the way up to around 78 degrees. So we're ending up with a pretty drastic temperature swing in comparison to the downstairs. And you can see that the master does okay. And that's largely due to it having an eight inch duct on this room, which is giving us five air changeovers an hour. I'm not gonna get into air exchange rates per hour in this video, which would just end up making it too long. So maybe I'll do another video on that later. You can see that we're having a pretty decent issue in my daughter's room and the temperatures are reaching up to around 80 degrees during the heat of the day. And my son's room is briefly reaching all the way up to 76 degrees until around 12 o'clock and then temperatures come down. So these two rooms need some minor improvements and these two spaces need major improvements. You're probably saying, I get it, Kenneth, you've got problems. Well, this problem isn't quite as bad as what the doctors say about my head, probably from hitting it too many times as a kid. But anyways, let me show you how I would fix all of this.